Welcome to the most requested video on my very young, very ripe, very doit YouTube channel. Canon vs. Canon. Point and shoot vs. Point and shoot. Premium vs. Affordable. Let's do it. What's going on everybody? Tim the Everything Man here. And today I'm very excited to bring you this video. It's a little comparison between the Canon G7X Mark II and the Canon SX740HS. Video after video, request after request, comment after comment. People are asking me to compare these two cameras. Well, we got it here today. All right, now I'm gonna keep it C with you guys. By the way, C means 100 in Roman numerals. And now we know where the term C note comes from. I've never owned or used the Canon G7X Mark II before today. I specifically went out and bought it because of the amount of requests that I had to compare the SX740 with the G7X Mark II. So gotta do what you gotta do to keep the viewers happy. Now if you're in the market, hopefully by the end of this video you'll be able to decide which one of these two cameras is right for you now i'm not going to spec speak here we're just going to go over a few key features for each camera and then we'll get into two separate comparisons one is going to be the photo comparison i'm not a photographer but i imagine some people out there that are watching might be interested in what photos look like coming out of each of these devices and the other is going to be a video comparison and in that video comparison we're going to go over four separate categories at the same damn time which is going to be audio image quality image stabilization and autofocus so the beauty of that is we don't have to separate it while i'm vlogging with these two guys right here you'll be able to just focus on whatever you want to focus on we're using the mic straight out of the camera which I gotta be upfront about right now. This is my second time shooting this video. I did it yesterday. It was a lot nicer out. It was a lot warmer out. There were a lot more people wandering around. I'm in a nice little trail. There was people hiking up and down around here. People walking their dogs, going out for bike rides. There were little snotty nosed kids tripping over their untied shoelaces all over the place. It was a good time. But the problem is, is I decided to get these tiny little dead kitten wind muffs that stick on over the microphone to try to block the wind noise for you guys so you don't have to hear every time there's a little gust of breeze unfortunately stupid me the way you put them on is you got to have a little adhesive strip and you put it around the microphone and then you stick the wind muff on top of that now the sx740 footage came out just fine the audio sounded fine but I accidentally blocked one or two of the microphone holes on the G7X Mark II with the adhesive and the audio was completely unusable. All you heard was like Charlie Brown's parents basically. It was terrible. I came back out today, it's chilly out again. Doesn't feel like spring anymore. Less than 24 hours ago, I was walking around in just a hoodie, sweating, dripping, and now I'm out here, a little cold, some chills, my fingers are a little frozen, but we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta get the comparison going here. Now one thing that really grinded my damn gears was the SX740 doesn't have 24 frames per second available. And I was really not happy about having to shoot on a 30p timeline. If you guys know my channel, you guys know I don't really care for 30 frames per second. The Canon G7X Mark II does have 24 frames per second. So what did I do? I went into the menu, I went to the video system, and I switched it from NTSC to PAL, which is what you Canadians use over there. So now, we don't get 24 frames per second, but we do get 25 frames per second, which is a nice little compromise. So now we got both of these guys shooting at 25 frames per second, and we should be good to go. So that's a little tip for all you guys out there that might own a Canon SX740 or some other weird camera like the Canon EOS RP, which doesn't shoot 24 frames per second. You just go into the menu, you switch up the settings, change everything to PAL, and then you'll have 25 frames per second problem pretty much solved the only issue with 25 frames per second here in the u.s is if you're filming indoors somewhere where it is lighting and led lights it actually runs on a different frequency and i've tested this for myself so when you look at the lighting at 24 frames per second you're not going to see any light flickering but when you switch it over to 25 frames per second then you do see that light flickering around so it can get a little annoying 25 frames per second in the u.s is not really good for indoors with any unnatural light going on. Just 
the word of advice. So a couple key things to know about these guys right here. The Canon SX740, as of the time of this video, is going for $399 US, and the G7X Mark II is going for $650 US. The G7X Mark II has a one inch, 20 megapixel CMOS sensor with dual pixel autofocus, a built-in ND filter, the Digic 7 processor, shoots video up to 1080p, 60 frames per second. It has a focal range of 24 to 100 millimeters, it has a flip up screen, and it's fully touchscreen, an f-stop of f1.8 to f11, and in-body as well as electronic stabilization. The SX740 has a 20 megapixel, half point three inch CMOS sensor, no dual pixel autofocus, it has the newer Digic 8 processor, no built-in ND filter, shoots 4K at 30 frames per second, and 25 if you switch to PAL, and 1080 up to 60 frames per second. It has a focal range of 24 to 960 millimeters, so the zoom on this is really impressive. There's a flip up screen, but it ain't touch screen. An f-stop of 3.3 to f8, and also in-body and electronic image stabilization. Okay, so the first comparison, photos. We'll get it out of the way really quick. I'm gonna leave everything on auto, and I ain't gonna edit them. So you're gonna be seeing the images straight out of the camera, just so you can get an idea of what these two are capable below. Alright, next up is the video test. It's a vlogging test. Now first we're gonna do a side by side. I'm just gonna hold these right here on the rack and film with both of them simultaneously and we'll split the screen just so you guys can compare which image quality you like better. And then we'll separate them and we'll do them one by one so that we get a nice big full screen and you can see everything that these things produce. All right, we got them both set up side by side. We got the Canon G7X Mark II right here. We have the Canon SX740HS right here. And what you're hearing out of both of these is the audio. And I'll leave a little audio icon on whichever side is playing the audio at that time. So we're on aperture priority mode. Gonna get as much blur in the background as humanly possible. It's not too much wind happening right now and hopefully these flip up screens will do a good job of blocking whatever wind is coming from behind the camera. So when you get yourself a nice vlogging grip, you could extend these cameras out pretty far and get a nice wide field of view. 24 millimeters is more than fine enough to work with. And the good thing is, is these cameras are small and compact and they're light, so it's not gonna really be an issue to hold these cameras out in front of you. So right off the bat, how's things looking? We're not gonna do any color grading. This is straight out of the camera. We'll get a speed walk on. Let me loosen up the left arm. Your boy's lefty. Hit him with that southpaw, no problems. We'll go back to my strong hand. We'll lock it elbow to ribs and we'll get ourselves a nice speed walk. So if you're like vlogging in the city and you gotta keep pace or else you're holding up foot traffic, this is pretty much what it'll look like if you wanna buy one of these two cameras. On the flip up screen, I really, I am liking the image that is coming out of this G7X2. You are definitely getting some separation between the foreground and the background, whereas the SX740, you're getting a little bit, but you know, not so much. Now again, I haven't used the G7X Mark II, but I have used the Canon SX740 on multiple occasions. And two things I could really say that are great for this camera is for the battery size, the battery life on this camera is phenomenal. And also the image stabilization is really good on this. I mean, you just throw it on a little mini tripod, little vlogging grip, turn it on and go. What the hell just hit me in my leg that was wet? Something just slapped my leg wet. Felt like I peed. You know when you pee and you, especially guys, you pull up your pants too quick and then one little drizzle drips down your leg, but it was on the outside, so maybe a squirrel urinated on me or something. Luckily it's not very windy or breezy out right now, so we don't have to deal with a ton of wind noise. 
which is a good thing. So again, you're hearing the mics straight out of the camera because that's the only option you got unless you want to go with a wireless microphone and sync up audio later. More power to you. It's not my style. All right, let's do a little speed walk right here. Get the image stabilization going. Now, because they both use the same batteries, I'm curious to see how much more juice the G7X Mark II would have wanted. You heard that whistle? I'm curious to see how the G7X Mark II with its one inch sensor does on battery life as opposed to the smaller sensor in the SX740. All right, so this would be a phenomenal test of the zoom. Let's check out the zoom range here. And right there is the optical zoom. Even though we have nowhere near the zoom range on the G7X Mark II that we have on the SX740, let's just do the same zooming comparison in the same spot and you can see the difference. And that's it. That are the zoom capabilities of the G7X Mark II. All right, so let's do another speed walking test here. Really quick, it's fast walking as these sexy Italian thighs can move. And my calves too, I got some, I got some sweet calves. All right, so we're all the way extended here with the grip. Now we're bringing in, now we're about elbow to ribs. And I always like to show you guys just so you can get an idea of how you would have to hold this camera if you're trying to vlog with a 24 millimeter lens. So I'm not gonna move my hand at all. And this is what it looks like when I was holding the camera. Got that elbow locked in, nice bend of the arm, and we're not really stressing ourselves too much. You would kind of think that the G7X Mark III, if they are gonna create it, given Canon's track record, I don't know if it's really gonna be worth it. And the reason why I say that, they're probably gonna put 4K in it, but the 4K is most likely not gonna have dual pixel autofocus, and it's probably gonna have a huge crop. They did that with the M50 and the EOS RP, so do you really think they're gonna step it up and give us amazing 4K on the G7X Mark III if that does get released? I don't really think so. I mean, what you want and what Canon is most likely gonna do are two separate things. Canon is known to kind of handicap their cameras almost every release. I am by no means a Canon hater whatsoever. I just call it how I see it. I wasn't impressed by the EOS R. I certainly was not impressed by the EOS RP, and I wasn't impressed by the M50, and that's just that. This camera, however, I am pretty impressed. The battery life seems pretty good. The image quality seems really nice. The color sign seems good. The image stabilization seems really nice. You know, this might be a good camera besides the audio problem with the no external microphone. This might be a good camera for my good friend Casey over at Camera Conspiracies. I mean, it's lightweight, has a nice image quality, good image stabilization, but you have to deal with that microphone, you know? So camera conspiracies, this might be a good camera for you, bud. I'm sure you looked into it before, but who knows? Nice little vlogging setup. And you do get a separation, man. You really do see that F1.8. It's a nice separation, especially when you get close like this. Look how blurry that background is. I mean, this is way too close for comfort. Now, what if we bring it out and zoom in? You get some separation that way. I mean, yeah, the background is non-existent because it's not even in the frame, but you do get some blur. All right, so it's about 7, 10 at night. Sun is pretty much down. Figure why not. Walking the little boy, Kobe. He's running around being a little stinker. But I thought this was be a good opportunity to get a low light test. So this is pretty low light. Right now we're on the Canon SX740. And this is just gonna be a quick test because it's getting pretty chilly out here. All right, now we're gonna switch over to the G7X Mark II. All right, G7X Mark II. 
And we are losing light by the minute here. So I'm assuming this performs better in low light. Bigger sensor, better f-stop. Kobe, you a good boy? Come on, let's go. All right, so that is it, ladies and gentlemen. What'd you guys think? Which one of these two cameras did you like better? Is the G7X Mark II worth a $250 increase in price over the Canon SX740? Do you own either one of these? Do you own both of them? If so, join the conversation below. Tell me whatever you want to tell me. I'm all ears. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at the underscore everything, man. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do so. I'd appreciate it highly. Until next time. This is your boy. <laughs> this is your man. Tell me everything, man. Signing out. Sulu. Raise your hands up. Raise them up.